Okay, so let's talk about linear drains. This is a linear drain that's going to go in this shower in that corner over there. There's a there's a template board that I put in there when I did the mud. That's going to come out. And this is the drain. Now, linear drains are becoming very, very popular. So I, I usually do mud, but they have foam pans, foam trays that you can use instead of the of the mud. So this is actually a drain grate. This is this one here comes with a valve seal. Inside outside corners comes with and it comes with a valve seal. So this is the drain grate right here. I'll pull that in a second. And this is the drain body. This is the part that gets buried. This is the drain body. It already has uh, the membrane installed on it, so you just put it in place. That comes with the collar there, and it comes with a foam. foam. If you're putting it in the middle of a shower, then you, you use this part here. You use this part here. If you're putting it at, the, at a wall, then you don't use that. This will go over here like that. And when I put make these templates here, I make them slightly bigger so that I have room to play with this a little bit when I when I install it. Okay, so when you install on these, you want to make sure you don't close that up so that the gray drain doesn't, doesn't fit. And this comes with these pre-installed. This is to adjust the height of the drain gauge. I'll move this one over. And put it about here. So now that you can't close that up, you can't close that up, and this one here is pretty stiff too. The old systems came with with these foam inserts that you could put in, and I kept those because they come in handy. But if you don't have one of those, you can just make one out of a piece of curdy board and that will keep it nice and tight. Then what I do when I install this, I put this on and I'll put, then I'll just tape it on the top so it doesn't fall out. So that's the drain grate. And then these bolts go screwed in here and that is to adjust the height of the, of the grate in relation to the drain body to give you the correct height for the tile. Okay, so I'm ready to install my drain body. So I pulled out the template and now I have to install the foam guide. I am using Schluter Allset mixed to the proper consistency as directed on the bag. So you want to make sure that the drain body is fully supported. So I'm using plenty of thin set here, but not so much that I can't push it down and put it in place. Then I glue it in, first cleaning and then applying the glue. I'm going to make sure that it is perfectly level when I put this in place and that it is perfectly in line with the mud bed. It is critical that the drain body be level and even with the mud bed so you don't get any humps at the drain which will have it retain water and won't drain properly. Okay so I cut this corner like this so I can fold it in there like that then I'll put this corner on top of that get a good seal the same in the other corner so the membrane attached to the drain body is installed the same as you would any banding that using this method the thin set I'm using here as I mentioned earlier is all set so once you've installed all your banding and all your membrane on the shower floor then you are ready for tile and ready to install your drain grate 